You know, you sometimes find yourself going down these weird Google search holes. Well, I found myself Googling what is Germany famous for? And perhaps unsurprisingly, cars and the Autobahn were top of the list. Although slightly worryingly, I've lived in Germany for four and a half years and I'm a big advocate of adventure and exploring the country you call home. But I was yet to do a big German road trip. Luckily, that was about to change for me because two weekends ago, I took a long road trip of seven hours from Berlin down to the Mosul Valley. Now, Mosul is in Rhineland-Pfalz, which is always known to be a couple of degrees warmer than Berlin, which is lucky because it's still gray and rainy here in Berlin. So I was excited to drive across the entire country through seven different Bundesland on the way to Rhineland-Pfalz and down to the Mosul. You can't not stop on your road trip, so we decided to stop in Weimar because it's about three hours from Berlin and three and a half from our destination in Mosul. And Weimar, I'm sure you've heard of the Weimar Republic, is an incredibly important city. It's based in the former East Germany, but it's really famous for its role in the 18th century Enlightenment movement in Germany. And some of the most amazing thinkers and poets came either from the town or through the town. For instance, Nietzsche, Goethe and Schiller. So it made a lot of sense to take a stop, walk around the beautiful town, have a look at where these people used to live and the parks that they used to take their daily strolls in. So while in Mosul, we were staying for three nights, two in Mosul chalets, these beautiful, beautiful glass cabins that have wooden frames and they were made off site with sustainable materials and shipped into the Mosul. And they have the most incredible panoramic view over the valley. And they're located on the southern slope of the upper Mosul, which has the longest straight stretch because of course, the Mosul River is known for all of the bends that it has that run through the river. And it was just such an incredible place to stay. So let's have a little house tour. After a really, really restorative night's sleep, I mean seriously, after living on a main street in Berlin, staying somewhere that was completely pitch black and silent was just so restful. So we were ready for a hike, um, classic German style. So we found this beautiful hiking trail called the Traumfad, which literally means dream path. And it really was a dream, we know, the German practicalities. And it took us through meadows, past streams, up the valley, over some mountains, through dense forests, and halfway through we came across the most amazing castle called Berg Elf. Family. The Els family that lived here lived in the 12th century, 33 generations ago. Wow. The people are nice and the nature is really good. Oh. 
time flies, they say, when you're having fun. So before we knew it, it was time to leave Mosul Chalets and head eastwards from the upper Mosul to the middle Mosul. And of course, on the way there, we stopped off at just a handful of the incredible places that the region has to offer. So we made a stop in Kochum, this beautiful medieval town with lots of winding alleys and steep slopes that lead up to this gorgeous old castle. Then we took lunch at a suspension bridge, which is in fact the longest suspension bridge in Germany. Unfortunately, it was closed, but we had lunch and overlooked it. And to be honest, maybe it was a good thing it was shut because it was uh, pretty, pretty high. Um, and then we, of course, drove along the Mosul Road the whole way down through this beautiful, beautiful valley to stay at Wine House 1897. What I think is really cool about Winehouse 1897 is that it's incredibly cosy and each four apartments has been designed with the idea of this Airbnb, you have everything you need and it's got a persona and this personality. And for us, the apartment was named after a couple called Lucy and Moritz and their personalities were injected into the room. So Lucy's favourite colour was green, so all of the walls were green and Moritz was really into amateur botany and so there were lots of prints of plants and it was incredibly cosy, um, really different to Mosel Chalets but also incredibly beautiful and incredibly restful. After just one incredible night at Wine House 1897 and one of the best baths I've ever had in my life, it was time for us to head back to Berlin. So we decided to take a detour and drive along the Rhine, which is slightly further north than the Mosul and just as beautiful. It's much wider and the slopes are kind of uh, also covered in vineyards and lots of old castles. It was really beautiful and I can't wait to go out on another road trip again soon.